Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode I want to share a little bit of an unboxing with something pretty cool I found. So one of the things you guys might know is the uh, Spark not only works with the remote control but will work with the Wi-Fi from the cell phone itself. So one of the things I came across online were these uh, handles, uh, which is kind of cool. looks like a little felt pad. And so I went ahead and ordered these because I thought this would be pretty cool. Because there are some cases where, you know, for a quick flight or that, not using the remote control might actually be pretty interesting. And uh, what happens is these little handles make the phone a little bit easier to uh, control. Looks like there's a couple sets in the box. I should get that out there. Yeah, the box is empty now, so there's a couple pieces in there. But the way that this works is it has little suction cups on here. And then what happens is this actually goes in somehow, sort of like that. Now, don't ask me how. Now, that definitely has uh, input here so you could still plug it in. And then this covers this. And that's actually pretty cool. Um, and then the suction cups hold the... Um, phone to the uh, actual unit. So you press down here and now it's like a, a Nintendo remote controller or something like that. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out how one uses the buttons and it looks like it's a little bit ambidextrous with ports. I guess you could uh, fold it out like that then put your hands back together um, like this. Now apparently it's got different size pads for different thicknesses of phones and cases. Um, this seems to actually work pretty good for this uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 5, which I use quite a bit. And uh, so if I take this, for some reason, I wonder if this is covering up the light sensor. I think, uh, yeah, see, ah, somebody needs some advice on my other channel. Um, so now this this is... This is pressing against something. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't look like something's pressing against something. Um, might have to turn off the light sensor because see when I put this back on it changes the light sensor so I may have to turn the light sensor off. Press and hold the recent open apps. I don't want a split screen view. Um, let's put this back on here. I think I'm going to have to turn the light sensor module off. Mobile data is turned off. Yes, I do know that. Okay, welcome back. I had to figure out how to turn the uh, light sensor on this one off. And why I did that, I also decided to go grab a couple other devices. And uh, uh, the other piece is this fits nicely on this small tablet, this Lenovo tab, this 8-inch tablet. So I've got this bound to the copter. And you can see, um, I think I can probably get it in here without any glare. Uh, my fingers, my thumbs fit on the controllers very well, and this makes it nice to hold the tablet, too. I think these were like 12 bucks, and uh, I actually think these are actually pretty pretty darn cool for 12 bucks. I have a link to these. I got them off Amazon. I'll have a link below. Um, but the, you can see they can fit multiple devices because they can also slip back on here. And... You can have it like this. And the nice piece is you can s slide it out like that to access the buttons. Um, so this actually works pretty good. And again, you can work the controllers from this. Gives it a really nice game feel. And again, I like the fact I can turn it out uh, for the controllers. Now, um, for the 5S, yeah, you can also still do the same. The, the suction cups are still big enough. Uh, and again, you can push it out for the home button. You will have to turn the, uh, uh, you can see the sensors are now a problem again with this one uh, too. So you have to turn the sensor up because you're covering it with uh, this handle, but you just turn that off inside. And so this again is really cool. So you could fly it from here. So it gives a good grip on um, the different mobile device. And again, it comes with different pads. So again, uh, depending upon how your, thick your device is, I guess you switch out the pads is the intent. There's no real instructions with it. Or these might just be replacement pads if these kind of get squishy. I don't know. But uh, again, for 12 bucks, I thought these were pretty cool. And uh, I really look forward to using it with my smaller tablet because this is really what I, I'm looking forward to using a uh, tablet about this size. Uh, and again, they just slide on and boom, 
you can access the buttons. On this one you really don't because the Android buttons, if I touch the screen, are actually down here at the bottom. If it actually works, but anyways, I think I'm going to go off flying. So I tell you what, um, subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. If you got any comments, hit me up below. You guys know the routine. What are you having for lunch? And uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video because I'm going to go try this outside. See you later. Bye.